There, of course, is this reporting by the New York Times, the Times on the president's tax returns. And there is a reminder of this moment when President Trump debated Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election. And President Trump then talked about paying zero taxes. Listen. The only years that anybody's ever seen were a couple of years when he had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license, and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. Paid so now with the New York Times reporting, obviously this could come up on the debate stage. Does this change things for the Trump campaign just days now, weeks now from Election Day? No, because we've seen these smears from the New York Times before. They dropped a similar piece days before the debate in 2016. Uh, the president has paid tens of millions of dollars in taxes um, in the decade leading up to him declaring his candidacy and millions after. He is the only the only president to have donated his salary, 1.4 million, that amount, uh, to the American people, back to the American Treasury. Uh, he works for free. His money goes to the U.S. Treasury. Uh, the real questions are really, though, for Hunter Biden. We've seen that Senate report who got $3.5 million from the Moscow mayor's mm. wife. President Trump pays the U.S. Treasury. Russia pays Hunter Biden. There is obviously news also as far as this moving forward that Kevin Brady, uh, the Republican from Texas, ranking member on the House Ways and Means Committee, is launching a criminal investigation into the leaking of that by the New York Times, saying to ensure every American is protected against the illegal release of their tax returns for political reasons. I'm calling for an investigation of the source and to prosecute if the law was broken. Is the president involved with pressing for a criminal investigation now of the leaking of those taxes? No, the president um, hasn't pressed for that, but look, that is a fair investigation to have. We've seen the politicization of taxes before. Uh, we've seen the IRS targeting Tea Party groups, um, and, and it's an unacceptable proposition for that to happen. Also unacceptable for these documents of the president to leak illegally to the New York Times, who then publishes the information. So it's an important investigation. Final question.